Okay. No, this is actually, recording. I want to hear Watershed. Like, who's I'm pretty we'll sure I got the name it. right. We'll talk about it as a podcast. The Noor Cursing Hour? Okay, okay. Adam <laughs> will talk cursing about it on the podcast. No, Hello, okay. internet. Uh, sorry for the crappy delay and the crappier uh, no video this week. Uh, I don't know. Daniel, why is there no camera again? I don't know. If yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> I'm going to the Rio Club. He's missing. Somebody stole a webcam, and so the now we definitely the sombrero is still, sombrero still, still, still here. here. But yeah. no, so we will definitely. Yeah, have to I was wearing a pink ranger suit right it's now, and okay. Kevin is completely naked and yeah. somehow playing through that. the fire flames with his penis. Yeah. I don't know how. I know. You need to okay. see it. Okay. Um, twenty-two frets right there. Woo! So, twenty-two frets. Yeah. That's how much my guitar has. Oh. Uh, wow, we sound weird. So, welcome to episode three. Actually, it's four. Episode four, four of NGC Squared, NGIT Game Club Chat. Uh, I, as always, always, but missed last week and the week before Two weeks. for other stuff, yeah. am the black guy. Uh, well, one of one of yeah. two. Well, Daniel's lights can. Really <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 racist. No, it's not skin this week. Like, what? I was gonna say, normally you'd say, "Well, you're the black guy that's on camera," but you can't even There's say no that. There's no camera, week, so. so I'm the guy sitting in between. The He's really taking up the guys. whole screen, as you can see right now. I'm a dude disguised as a dude playing another dude. Io Deji Asagba, video game reviewer for the NGIT Vectrum newsletter. Uh, let's just go around the whatever office, uh, starting okay. with you. Um, as you can see in this direction, <laughs> I'm uh, Madam Rathbone, treasurer <laughs> of the game club. Uh, That's one way of putting it, yes. The guy over here. The guy over here. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Kevin Shoemaker, whoa. president of the NGC. You didn't even finish. No, you didn't even oh, finish. Oh, you just said you NGC just, when yeah. it's not there? I just, I just blew your mind, didn't I? <laughs> 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 it's like, can I introduce yourself? Kevin. <laughs> 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 Jesus, yes. Uh, guy on the computer who you can't see, please. Uh, Daniel Pisa, uh, Ajite. There's no fucking like, enthusiasm <laughs> in your voice at all. I, I, I'm I, here because they can't use a fucking computer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, isn't it? <laughs> second time reappearing for the first time this semester in arguably a very long time is... I'm Natalie Cairo. I'm the secretary of the game. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a girl in this room. The Shut penis up. ratio. Is, <laughs> there is a ratio now. Yeah, there is a ratio. <laughs> as opposed to it being one glob of penis. Uh, now there's some. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> Funny part is, I can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now that we got the sex out the door. No, uh, we, it's, it's still. Did you not hear the door? <laughs> Let's go down the very hastily written on a back of a poster list of Bro, news. Paper? <laughs> Fuck you. Um, so na- he has me a nap. <laughs> First up, Titanfall, open beta. I was unable to get to this because when I wanted to sign up for it, they said you had to sign up by like the 15th. It was like the 17th when I found out about it. Oh. Um, Daniel's like, you want to sign up here? He, just gives me, he literally just, he gives me a fucking, he gives me the website to Origin. He's like, hey, you want to sign up here? Origin.com. Yeah. It was like, yeah. what, what is this going to do for me? Hey, hey you want to sign up? Google.com. <laughs> All right. So, Kevin, have you played Titanfall? Uh, my swingmate has. I've actually watched him play. On Xbox One? 360 Xbox One. How is it? It looked uh, as serious as everyone's been saying. It looks like Call of Duty with mechs. But... <laughs> but okay. okay, but it uh it it look if it, it feels like Call of Duty, it's very fast paced, uh-huh. yeah. and uh, it feels I don't know, cause it's kind of unique because it's mechs. But like, if you see a mech, you're kind of scared. But if you're not, if you have the right equipment, it's like the titan the Titans. I'm trying not to say Titans. <laughs> they are Titans. They are called Titans. They are Titans. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So call them the, Avis. the Titans. I mean, there there is. Avis. <laughs> Avis. Avis. I mean, they do add a new uh you know. <laughs> I'll call all of them Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> they had, they had a new perspective to the battles, but um, Titan on Titan fights are probably the best part of the game. Yeah, yeah. Do they go Actually, down after a while. Like, so it's like a two-minute timer before you could use one after they blow up or when you start the match. You can well, modify that with different things, but you, okay. I think. Hang on, don't you like? Doesn't it, like speed it up if you like kill things? Well, yeah. Or am I oh, thinking okay. something else? Yeah, okay, here, okay here's how better. it works. Um, the more you hit the Titans or the people around. Around the map, the, the less time it'll, it'll take right. for the Titan to build up. That, the that, that was the idea. And yeah, 
Hey, yo, and it says, like they said, six versus six um, multiplayer with bots on screen. Yeah, they yeah. got yeah. like grunts. And, How many yeah. bots are there? They didn't specify a number, but you constantly be running into one all the time anyway, so right. it doesn't so, mean. You but you would. can just insta kill them with your smart pistol. Yeah, that, that I didn't get. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you have an auto okay, aim halo gun? Yeah, well, only but it only really works on the on the the bots. The if you, if you oh. aim it at the people, you, it has to like. Boop, boop, yeah, boop, 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 boop. and then you can insta kill them. Yeah. But that's a lot of time to keep pointing at yeah. someone. Yeah, that's like three times. <laughs> yeah, just like lock on like three times and insta kill. That's pretty much that. But yeah, yeah that's like. Just like <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> they. But the insta kill gun, as I would like to call it, is one of the biggest complaints about it. About the behind, yeah, like, yeah, well, because it's because it's like this is a gun for noobs. Like yeah, but this is the the noobest gun since the noob tube. For Mortal what about Warfare Golden Gun from no, Golden, Golden Gun? Golden you had gun. To get. You had to get Golden that. Gun and Golden Eye. You had to aim, which in Golden Eye wasn't gonna happen. So. <laughs> no, which is not gonna happen. Also, you just okay. Well, also, <laughs> Golden. Or you can glide around your knees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you have to find that stuff. This one. I hated you... playing that game. Side ten. My friend got so good at it. Like I played with him like a year ago, mm -hmm. to the fact where you know that he doesn't own any like PS2 and up. <laughs> Just the N64 Goldeneye. I walk into a room, I explode, and he's just laughing because he's throwing mines everywhere. He's How? obviously he's, in, he's above the bathroom in the bathroom level, and he's like, "What do I do now? I can't Literally, play the game anymore." Like I see him, I run after him, and then I, I he just this this dick white guy laugh. I'm like, <laughs> ah, it's not I'm as like, bad as Perfect Dark. In Perfect Dark, if you got tranquilized, your screen went all blurry, right? Okay, fine. Problem is when you if you died. When you revived, your screen was still blurry. They didn't, oh, like, reset wow. it. So if you actually, you could actually just keep getting shot and you'll never see anything. <laughs> so why is this blue hitting me? Uh, it's, so it's, it's official. You guys just kind of stay on track. Kind of that's now. the point. Kevin, so <laughs> with Titanfall, how long is a regular match, per se? Uh, uh, no, I think Daniel can tell you. Like, it, call, dude. it lasts... Um, the longest he could last is at least five minutes. Jesus. So you have a five-minute match yep. with an auto-aim gun and s at least 12 mechs? Like I said, it's fast as Call of Duty. It's fast. Like, it's yeah. really, really fast. Yeah, like, you'll it. just... It seems like, like... like... Because you cannot stay at one place this time. Like, you constantly be running on walls, jumping on... That's what my point. Roof. Like, Call of Duty is fast. Yeah. Period. But this... This is... This, this is like... What do you call that? That, uh... Michael Bay, the, the game. <laughs> You have Explosive. 12 mechs, you have an auto-kill gun, you have bots, and then five minutes. Specific. <laughs> no, it's so stupid. It's slow. How are you standing on water? No, <laughs> it comes up from the water. Well, yeah, it was because it's really... Big O came out there. They're on the tip -toe. No, Big O. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, it, it, they were standing in the middle of the ocean. You clearly had to go... <laughs> apparently, apparently, that's part of the problem with uh, Titanfall I've heard so far is... So it starts out, no one has a mech because you have to earn it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It takes like two minutes. And then the first person earns their mech and they murder everyone and it kind of snowballs from there. I just wanted to yeah. happen. Either A, it snowballs and you have a terrible match or B, everyone kind of everyone gets a mech mm -hmm. and then yeah. it's just like everyone huddles together because they want to lose their mech because then they'll be the only one about one. So it's kind of just like Packs of mechs rolling it becomes around. Mech yeah, yeah, okay. it becomes mech warrior. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, okay, yeah, that's where one of the bonus came um, from. Um, yeah, the, the mechs have this ability to, yeah, to, um, um, the like vortex it. shield? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, and everybody likes to lump each other together and well, to do, yeah. like, to yeah, do grab the bullet, shoot it back, and I'll pass it back them out and do that too. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Like, it gets, it's either like, the best way to win a, a Titan fight is either one on one or two against one. <laughs> oh, the whole time on me against you. That's pretty much that. <laughs> I mean, That's pretty much that. Even when you try the rodeo step, uh, but if you that, use that, the if you use the vortex shield when you get ro rodeo, you don't have electric smoke. And that's uh, everyone knows electric that's where it's smoke at. Is Chinese electric Batman confirmed. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Well, electric the electric smoke is actually used for just getting your players off your yeah, back. Yeah, just kill. It's just like you push a button. I kill the pilot. Are there kill streaks in this? It, um, no. I think it would be the mechs. No, there's no way the mechs are basically no, the kill streaks. No, 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 they're, they're not kill streaks in yeah, the game. No um, the closest cool. thing to the kill streak of, um, of Scott Streak was pretty much like if you die, you get um, you, you get these cards. They call oh, them, burn they, cards, they yeah. They call <laughs> it the bank cards. Like, either, when you start to the module, each time you die, you can just pick a bank card and like activate it. Yeah, you just activate and you get. A, a That's not like a kill streak, though, because you can, you can activate those anytime. So well, it's like. It's like Mm. Well, you, you yeah, could not get any kills, but then activate, and you'll wake up with the better pistol yeah. or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, but, but to get new ones, you can either do it by getting the uh, get the kill streak or mm -hmm. finishing a match by annihilating the entire players mm -hmm. on the map and all all kinds of stuff like that. That's that's how it works. 
guess that makes some sense. Yeah. It, yeah. So, so, yeah, <coughs> Titanfall Bay. Titanfall. Are, you, are you pumped from it for what you've seen, Kevin? Titanfall. Um, Is this the system seller? Is this it's make not the system seller, but it's in the right direction for <laughs> trying to branch out the shooting games. It is. Because we don't want Call of Duty anymore. Halo. Halo's got to fix its ways with its ponchos. It's getting a bit too much now. So you got but hey. Titanfall, which is definitely going to be annualized. You yes. have Halo. You have Call of Duty. Battlefield. You have Battlefield. You have Gears of War, maybe. maybe. No, they yep. stopped making this. Yep, they bought the uh, Warface. Yeah, War- Warface. Killzone. Warface. Killzone. Okay, you made that up now, but that's fine. We'll no, there's a Warface <laughs> open beta. You might have another. Why is everyone doing first person shooters? Warface. Thing about whatever. Well, it's, yeah, they still have a lot of first person um, shooters. Next up. Mm. Uh, PS4s will not be in stock till April. Anywhere. Classic. Um, but that's oh, only man. two months. What, does this make sense? Yes. It does. I don't understand. You two say yes. I don't see how you have a product people want and you refuse to make it in enough quantities. It's not refusing, it's to, not make refusing to make it. It's not refusing to make it. It's the anticipated people. <laughs> refusing to make it be like, oh, next, no, no, next I'm not Christmas talking about we'll now. We we have all right. So <laughs> GameStop has two <laughs> PS4s in stock. That's not. That's that's bullshit. Like make enough, a lot. I sure. Like, well, sure they have their all right, so maybe they didn't know how explosive it would be. And it's now February. They've had two months to see how much people want it. One month to tell the factory to make that much, and this month to ship out. Here they're saying, no, you wait till summer. Yeah, let's not forget. Well, did they say how much they were gonna have no. by no. April? Maybe, they're, they're, but then half of that is going to Japan now that they got their PS4 launch. So now they have, now they got a PS4. Well, and they also announced that they got like five million. I really, already, don't, like, I really yeah. don't think it matters because it's really not that nine. much yes. games. Wow, they are, at they're that point, okay. yeah. Well, they'll have games to sell, so that's a good. Point. I think you know if they wait a little bit game longer, game. they'll point, they'll guess. give more time to give leeway yeah. to the games coming out. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it's, it's actually in March. But then now, if Titanfall comes out in like what a week or two or something, yeah. yeah. So then now Xbox will say, and PlayStation will be like, wait till April, dog. But I, I, I mean, worst case, a uh, best case for Sony would be is Titanfall doesn't really blockbuster hit, it and. Will- like it's not well, that amazing, oh, and people yeah, yeah, yeah. will wait well, for Titanfall to maybe updates or some DLC becomes amazing. Well, <laughs> actually, no, the Titanfall could be a hit because of the platform that is on. This is not. It's not kind of exclusive on the Xbox One and PC. Well, a lot, of, a lot of people on PC actually really like playing that game. On the PC. Well, yeah, they're not gonna hate it. It's a good game. It's right? a good game. I'm, I'm not hating it. it it's a good game. It will, it'll be a hit for sure, but. It, it would definitely. I don't, I don't think it would be that much of a big hit, but we just have to wait and see to, for the release. Yeah, I mean, hey, give me the pre-orders. You don't even have that much to offer anyway. It's ballsy. Now that has no yeah. single player, right? No, it's no, it doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's, that's, it's multiplayer. Okay, it's no, exclusive. that's it's good, but that's good. it's kind of it's really kind of <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah. exclusive be multiplayer. But so without. You gotta get a new a new person is gonna be like I need an Xbox One I have to buy Xbox Live and then the game it's seven hundred bucks. Oh, you could just right there. Oh, like, you could just. I don't know, man. That's a big sell. Yeah, man, that's a big sell. I uh, just get on the three sixty or the PC. You can get it on three sixty. Yeah, the yeah. PC so. Or the Master Race. <laughs> um, next up, Xbox is actually doing something interesting, Kevin. The mm-hmm. Xbox live digital sales ultimate game day sales no the, oh. well the ones were like they're they're testing out uh cheaper digital prices for games that they're reselling or something yeah you didn't hear anything about that like now they're going like um uh rise, rise and uh like oh three dead, oh it's dead xbox Rising one three or something yeah. is it just xbox one or xbox one? well no I just, know. xbox one so far. yeah, well, yeah. now they're it's like okay rise. so now you're gonna buy it in gamestop for 60 here it is for like 45 or something oh I think digital even with all the day one achievement dlc or whatever that stuff is called mm-hmm. uh-huh. i like there so i do love that actually they're trying it's, to make gamestop yeah. run for its money <laughs> which they did with the <laughs> xbox one and then yeah. they reversed it well i know on the 360 the they're doing uh for they're doing daily sales, like as I said, Dante's Inferno was on sale today. Like payday two and Fallout three and all that stuff's on sale. So will you not it's buy eleven dollars. It should be on Steam for sale right now. It's always on Steam. It's the first well, thing you see. Payday, well, payday two, I don't think has been on sale for a little while. I've been watching, but yeah, yeah. I could, I I could just pay twenty, but I still have payday one. Like I, I haven't bought? even played two. I just downloaded it. It's but they are they, they are kind of screwing the euros over because when they when you do the um, conversions, mm-hmm. euros are paying more money for them. Classic. <laughs> how about the Australians? I love how they just justified it one day. Like, no, like, I forgot what it was, but it was like a three paragraph report. And, like, no, this is why everything is the same. We don't care about anything else. Like, we want to release it for $3.99. It's $3.99 everywhere. 
Australia money, American money, <laughs> European money. It's three ninety nine. Um, all right. Next up, uh, in lieu of the Xbox One digital sales. Sony's starting to do their own thing with their flash sales every once in a while. Yeah, they keep seeing that. Yeah. Um, where now they'll just take a couple of games around some theme. The first was Valentine's. I think. No, no, Valentine's was the second. That was the second one. Um, that was the first. The first one was around January, wasn't it? I think it was just like a January, whatever sale. Yeah. Just for like, no reason, they're doing Steam sales like seventy five percent off mm-hmm. of good games. Oh yeah. yeah. I bought Dive Kick for like two fifty. <laughs> I hate the game so much, but it was like free, and it came with the Vita copy, mm-hmm. so I got two games for two fifty. Yeah. Um, they sold, uh, Far Cry, for like two or three. Uh, or Blood Dragon. Blood Dragon. Yeah. Blood Dragon Blood for like Dragon. again one or two, um, stuff like that, etc. I forget the name of all the games but I do like that do you like the fact that now they're doing kind of a push to steam sale kind of things or would you still prefer the, uh, I mean, physical actually, stuff no, actually it's, it's, it's <laughs> a good stuff competition's steam, good steam is it's a good stuff for, for one thing I need the CD because I only have 8.8 gigs left on my hard drive well, well yeah it it's like you, know, you come up with this much like yeah this much room update <laughs> update I mean, it's all gone now yeah I do love I don't understand this I don't want to pray something because I'm going to kill it later. But I do love how they give you a giant hard drive and then you put in your disc <laughs> and the hard drive is cut in half because it has to install every game. Updates yeah. On, on yeah. the plus side, as soon as they did that, did you see that Kotaku thing where they were like the speed of in, uh, putting in a disc on a PS4 and an Xbox, just booting them up and putting the disc in? Yeah. The funniest thing I've ever seen. So they, they time it down to like this crazy math <laughs> where they put two videos up simultaneously of an Xbox One and a PS4. Brand new out of the box. You press start. Um, after the update for both of them, they put in like Need for Speed. It takes like thirty seconds to boot to the main menu of the PS4, and then a minute to play, install the game, mm-hmm. and play it. And while it's installing that, it um, downloads the DLC as well. Okay. So you can essentially just press X and play the game. But the Xbox, it has to go online. It has to online check the thing. It has to download the game. It has to download the DLC to the game, but it won't let you play the game while it's doing that. Where Sony's like, yo, it's halfway done. You want to play this an hour later? Yeah. It, so it took like one, two minutes for the Sony. It took like 30 minutes for Xbox. It was hilarious. Absolutely love it. Um, I know, that's a bit of a tangent. Uh, let's talk about this uh, kind of popular thing in the uh, gaming spectrum now, the Twitch Play fiasco. Uh, Now, I purposefully have been ignoring the fuck out of this because it's just stupid. I saw saw the the three-year gif of them trying to battle a gym leader, (laughs) and every time they try to switch out the, like, the, the ratata with the stupid long A name yeah. to keep feeding <laughs> Felix Helix Fossil yep. <laughs> and, and all these memes we must check the Helix Fossil you know what to do? Like, I don't get anything aside from it's a program that allows you well, everyone watching to do one move that correlates to them playing Pokemon Red well I heard yeah. they were testing out stuff for the Xbox One and PS4 where they'll have a game that works exactly like that that would be awesome but it has to work better yeah, that's what they're doing. I mean, uh, you know, they should know that us gamers are assholes and we can't work together. No. To, Twitch's, to, to the Twitch community's credit, someone also did one where they literally had the commands uh, generated by a random number generator. Oh, wow. And uh, I think that one got stuck fighting a Magikarp and, like, ran out of usable Pokemon. <laughs> so they're, they're just it's really screwed. They had to reset it. No, so <laughs> they accidentally released all their Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know. Random generator so, where a Magikarp uh, can destroy Magikarp you. Apparently kicks ass. Well, no, that's right. No, that's they said they said the only way for it to get out would be need to go, uh, like accidentally go buy a Pokeball and then go fish and get a Magic Card. That's the only way it's out. It's never gonna do that because it keeps going in circles. So, um, you know, credit to Twitch, slightly better than a random number generator. No, what's <laughs> killing me about this is that it's why. Also, this, they made it through self code. This is, is no, I mean, for one, they're actually progressing in the game. Mm-hmm. Last I checked, mm-hmm. in the middle of this week, they were past the fourth gym. Yeah, yeah, ten they days went. in there. And now they have. And now they're team rocket headlocks is trying to fight Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, they're gonna beat the game with, with nonsense. But it's it's what's scaring me is that this thing blew up in like like two days. Cause like, no one knew about it. Some guy's like, hey, uh, here's an experiment the next day. Oh, my God, everybody. <laughs> Magic card. So he was fossil. Evie, the false prophet. <laughs> oh my God. That's my favorite one. <laughs> All these pictures of, like, the end of, uh, you know, 
end of the movie seven where it's like they're in the field and he's like, he wants you to kill him. And he's just standing there like, open the mouth. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is, this is yeah. So now what's scaring me about this is that uh, a lot of now other games are starting to do it now. What's the other game that's oh, doing God. it? Yeah, what's the other what game that's doing game? it on Twitch? Another game? Dark yeah. Souls. Dark Souls. I, I, oh, I know. Google it. Actually, it wasn't another game. It was actually yeah. another guy just trying to do it. It's like some of us. I was just like, well, and yeah, try to do the same thing. Like, with, they're now yeah. doing these things. No, it's not like you'll just be like, you'll just I, come out. I'm and do not stuff. even kidding. That's I think it that. was Dark Souls. I think it was. I don't know how you can no, do that. How would you get that. anywhere? It's on a PC. You, you have the code for the Game Boy. It'll just add more well, buttons. I'm saying, but like, how would you even, like... No, it wouldn't. That's the thing. Everybody just wants to see people fail at a game, and what's harder to fail or pass than Dark Souls. So, added fun. But, I don't know. No, it I, won't work. So, now it's starting to become a, 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 a fat, ha- flappy yeah. bird. Yeah, oh, just a trend. I'm scary. It's scary. But it's really yeah. just a line of code. Yeah. It's not like no, no, the whole it, game. <laughs> like, you would never watch somebody play Pokemon Red unless it's a speedrun or you're bored. Now, 50,000 people? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Two million views. 80,000 now. Two million and, views? And, and the Twitch is actually suffering because of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, like 20. Like, they like, say, like, it's an equivalent to a major tournament where it has to have its own damn like server. 20 yeah. or 30% yeah. uh, percent of the users are on PS4. The other eighty are watching Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> like the the juxtaposition, I love it. Um, so yeah. Definitely. Lastly, Adam, you're gonna have to do much on this because I just heard about it and heard that Bethesda <laughs> thing was hiring them. But the uh, Irrational Game. Yeah, Irrational Games uh, essentially closing their doors. They had like 140 employees and they're being downsized to 15. Uh, presumably, the 15 being used to finish the uh, Bioshock DLC they have to do. Um, mm. what was it Ken Levine he, he put a blog post up on the Irrational website he's like I've been doing this for 17 years I want to make a different what was it I wrote down the quote <laughs> a different kind of game which is not well, at all vague which, is, which is narrative focused yeah, narrative but, focused yeah. yeah so he went he was considering making his own like startup company yeah. with his money uh, but 2K Games you know the people who publish Bioshock they, they offered to like <laughs> take him in basically and like, publish basically, like, like yeah basically they were like okay um you could either continue working with us yeah. and you could still do your own thing. <laughs> so and now he's got, like, he said yeah. he's going to focus on digital distribution with this. So I guess yeah, that means no dig- box copies. Yeah, dig- <laughs> uh-huh. actually, that was Cliff Brzezinski. He was like, I don't know. Well, no, but also Ken Levine was saying that. He's like, he said something about, like, it helps you foster a better relationship with the community if you're, like, oh, digital. You can, is, he I had a know. studio, <laughs> right? So it's just one guy with an idea. How is him leaving, firing a team of everyone else? Like uh, he's a cool founder. If David Jaffe left, do they yeah. kill? Oh, he's a cool founder, and he, he well, no, like uh, I, Zempel and that other guy when they left Call of Duty, when they left Infinity Ward and did respawn, Infinity Ward didn't shut down. I guess but no. they had like well, Activision they, was like Activision was like man, we just we just two K games just published um, irrational but, stuff. They didn't yeah oh, yeah that's just so. what they do yeah that's but, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure who the, where the co-founder is and all this, but like I don't yeah. know. I guess they did well, yeah, but them. yeah, from what I heard of that, I think like Bethesda was just like, all right, guys, you're clearly talented developers. Let's mm-hmm. just buy whoever's out, just work with us. That's what I heard on. Reddit. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Of um. They, yeah. Uh, what was it? They. Ken Levine was saying that they like. Uh, they had people come in to like, I guess, interview basically the people that would be shortly fired or laid off. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the least you could do at that point. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, maybe they'll find more opportunities. Who's doing the next Bioshock then? Oh, they said new Bioshock. Ah, uh, who is? Um, two K studios still okay. doing. Okay, I guess two K. How like, is it not uh, a, a narrative based game? That should have had one of the most confusing endings. In, like, <laughs> what, how, is that, how is that not good enough? Like, no, I need to. I need to fire oh, everyone. Oh, this is mean, garbage. I need to make Fable Four. It must be better. The dog make, will be realer. I need to make the movies. The movies. <laughs> <laughs> right. Speak. Shout out to the movies. It's actually an okay game. <laughs> Shout out to Alien Out for him. Hmm. That was all right, too. Yeah. Are you okay? I actually like that song. What? what? Just what? like the movies. Okay, see, I was yeah, talking about the game, the, the movies, Peter Molyneux. Oh. Uh, oh, Molly Dew. The stunts and effects. I only know about track. Black and White, Dog, and Milo. I mean, don't get me wrong. The movies, the, the game was really simple, but God dang, the Machinima thing in there was exquisite. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> So, <clears throat> now that's that. Uh, Daniel, what's the new releases for this week? For this week? And the next. And the next. Yeah. Wow. God, is there anything coming out? Oh, yeah, Strider. Three. 
That oh, guy's like, suck. Stride. Did you play it? The new one? Oh, yeah. Oh, or I, I don't does. understand it. I had Strider 1 for Sega. Okay. Okay. How, I, how I got up to the that? giant gorilla. Like, was, was this makes no years. sense. You're in space <laughs> Russia fighting a half yeah. real, half fake monkey gorilla. Right. Yeah. That sounds like no awesome idea. knowledge. Continue. Strider 2 <laughs> PS1. Had, had it. Played it. Yeah. You're again in 32-bit neo-Nazi space Russia. Right. Fighting. Like, what are you? Are you a ninja? You're a ninja. Yeah, ninja. You're, 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 in Russia? You're like a cyber ninja because you got your sword that's like glowy. That can shoot and... half the screen when you press squ- I don't get yeah, this. Yeah, just like real life. And then the new Strider looks marginally better. There's snow everywhere. When you hit people, they cut in half. And then you find out they're all Terminators. And then... They throw health at you everywhere, like a silly, you're a baby, you just take health. Like I guess. Every well, enemy like, you blow up shoots yeah, like a million pieces help, of health at yeah. you. I, I don't get this I, game. The only, thing I don't get, the only thing I don't get about the UI is um, the top left corner, you got your health and your energy meters or whatever, right? Yeah. Like... They show how large they can be, I guess, or yeah, whatever. But you actually have like the whole tiny amount. Start like with an eighth of it. Why did why show the rest of that? I don't get it. <laughs> On top of that, why give you an eighth and then there's a health every like three steps? I guess they're expected to get hit a lot because you, you, apparently later you on, you, apparently later on, you can gain the ability to reflect projectiles. But that's like By late. Hitting so. late, yeah, it will like it'll be late. So, so I guess they're expect. I guess at that point they're like <laughs> health uh, pickups. Yeah, apparently it's a no. Metroidvania style game. Again. Like yeah, yeah. But you don't like. I don't see. It gets so boring. It does, yeah. What am I missing? It does because I just found myself but you jumping. Summon a fire eagle. You don't even have that ability because the oh, you best. Don't have that ability? Yeah, because the, the best thing you can do in the game is just starts off just cutting to enemies. Right. But while I was doing it, just to outside side was just flipping around just to make it look exciting because I was bored it's really so fast. Bad, this game angers me. What else came out? Uh, Donkey. Don't get caught up because we have more this time. Oh, all right, fine. Thank you, Ken. Tomba Dang 2. Oh, no, last week. Oh, yeah, that is last No, keep going now. You're right. Earth Defense Force 2025. Hmm. I yeah. want to play it, but the reviews, you know, they're just like, really? I'm tired of liking this game <laughs> when the frame rate is 10, like, yeah, 10 on a good day. It's and, yeah. It, the game disgusted me up until, like, I couldn't get why this would be, like, you know, it's a game where you shoot giant ants. Yeah, it's, and, you, and you play it, it is the funnest thing you'll ever play. It's stupid. That's just, what, yeah, that's what they're all saying. When you use a machine gun and shoot a building and it just, just explodes for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you rock it like a, like a spider and mm-hmm. it'll just fold yeah. and then bounce on everything in the terrain. Oh, it's stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah, what else? Assassin's Creed Freedom Christ, standalone DLC. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I was actually hoping that that would be a thing, and now it's here, and I don't want to buy it. Okay. Which is weird, but I did. That's like, I wish that that was its own Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, you did. Now you it do was, wish that, don't you? Yeah, definitely. You play as a slave who's now an assassin. What? Ha. That's um, awesome. Why, why do you guys ha. keep talking like that? Like what? Never mind. <laughs> Either way, uh, we got Rumble, the video game. Rumble, the video game? I yeah. heard so oh, much legends. bad about Rambo. Oh, they should not oh, Ram- oh Rambo. Rambo! Yeah. I was, oh, Adam, please. I was watching. They should not see the trailer. Okay, so it's, um, looks awful. it's basically a, an on-rails shooter. It's like a light gun game, but you don't have a light gun, so... Okay. Um, so I like how the... I'm not sure if it's the first level, but I'm pretty sure it is. First level, you're just entirely killing police officers, so that's you know, it's a good start to the game. Um, but you get bonus points for shooting them in the arm... With an M60, which doesn't kill them, just disarms them, like real life. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 an interesting game. Um, the funny thing is, uh, there are some levels that are like a few minutes straight of just you know quick time events, which okay, fine. But there's a perk you can put on that makes so you never fail yeah, quick time events. Event. So you can actually just put the controller down and leave and just it. Just watch the entire time. And just watch a level. It's yeah. like all right, cool. All right. all right, cool. That's awesome. So yeah. uh, there's that. Yeah. Um, you know. Other than that, I don't know what to say. There's one point where you just have to, like, it's like you have 60 seconds. You have to shoot the shit out of the police department. Like, you have to shoot all the tiles off of the outside wall to get some guy's attention. <laughs> it's like, oh, you didn't shoot that tile off. He's not going to come out now. There's no, there's no reason. So who sits there while you shoot their office for Oh, well, no, no, no. What happens is like, you get the 60 seconds, so you shoot off some of it, whatever. Or maybe you throw a grenade if you're feeling saucy. Uh-huh. And then, you know, some police come over and they're like, stop that. So you turn, like, casually to the left stuck behind a police car that they left there for you, very nice, and you shoot them in the arms, you know, because you lose points if you shoot them regularly, because now you're a cop killer, you wouldn't want to be that. So, and then, okay, they're all gone, great, go back to shooting the building for another 40 seconds. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I want to buy this yeah. game. <laughs> it, it is beautiful. So, how, how about a special mention to that Final Fantasy game? No, we'll do that after. <laughs> God, I have so much to say. Uh, he, said he said God. He said God. Stop it, 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get to play it. Are you another one of God's pawns? <laughs> Whatever the hell they say? Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what they say. That's exactly Donkey what they Kong say. Donkey Kong freezing thing. Uh, tropical freeze. Tropical freeze. Perfect timing because it's cold. Uh, it's actually like 50 degrees. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. God, what are you doing? <laughs> this, this shit's temperatures. So it's outside. Final Fantasy 3 was released. That's what happened. <laughs> it's like, fuck, fuck this gate, right? <laughs> it's cold out. You see lightning in the distance. It's lightning. I knew, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> the game's playing itself. The game's playing like itself. Rambo. <laughs> the game's playing itself, Rambo. <laughs> Wait. Rambo's first name is John. Oh, no! Oh, God! What did I miss? Oh, God! <laughs> you can't explain yourself, John! Yeah, make your own reference to John Sean. Oh. Yes, try. Oh, God. <laughs> try walking right. I can't walk right, John. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave. Try going left. <laughs> I can't go left. I can't go left, John. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, John. Try, try playing the game. I don't know. I, I thought I was it. playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing the game. Um, the all right, uh, Daniel, go back to release this thing. Let me see if there's anything else. I thought else Thief came out. Was that next week? Let's talk about next yeah, week. Next, oh, next yeah, week's Thief, actually Thief's next, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, I heard Thief. Hold on, hold oh, the F on. Resident Evil 4. Ultimate HD. Ultimate HD, HD yeah. edition. <laughs> Yo! I don't want to play anything else anymore. Because. <laughs> Did you see the commercial for this? No. It's oh. the funniest the, shit ever. There's absolutely nothing to talk about anymore. You've beaten the game on yeah. every console. So they're like, no, and gorgeous 1080p. <laughs> and blistering. 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 Yeah. It's actually the blistering. Trailer. 60 oh frames my God. And now it comes with like two additional languages. Oh. <laughs> and the Ada Wong missions oh. that were on the PS2 yeah. version <laughs> and the yeah. PS3 version. And yeah, the Xbox 360 version. Oh my God, like, son. This it sounds like the best thing ever. Where do I buy? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's you so have to like dip in that game with four times. Now, oh, like, that's just. Um. I, uh, I heard Thief on the Xbox One. It only runs at 900p. Okay, yeah. And had a non-blistering 30 frames per second. Okay, which so... Which is pretty... I don't know. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> yeah, speak of the P's that, that you brought up. I heard that joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have more P's than you something. It's whatever. Yeah, so, so, yeah, Konami also released a comparison video with Metal Gear or like Ground Zeroes with the current generation and the next-gen console. And the, the current generation runs at 720p outscale 30 frames per second, while the next gen mm -hmm. runs at 60 frames per second with a different Xbox One 720p, PS4 1080p. I'm just starting to turn into yeah. the story that the graphics are just better on PS4 right now. I mean, this console just yeah. came out. You hey, Kojima downright said it like the PS4, PS4 is, could, will like make it. your dreams come true. I like it better. He did say that. He, that was kind he, of he actually just said it like PS4 makes your dreams come true. When back then he was like. That's, it didn't really show much of the difference, and unless you know, he's gushing over it, like this is the best thing ever. You guys should make games on that machine. Like, did you, think, oh, did oh. you see that GIF? Right? And he, yeah. <laughs> that GIF, uh, that one of the Antonio Banderas's. Oh. Um, the, the best the one. The, oh. the, 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 the ball one? Yeah, yeah. He, with, the, with, the, with the the jam. Yeah. There's the a new one now. Oh, where he, <laughs> this shit was barely acceptable in 2013, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, uh, it's, it's the worst. It's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> the worst. I love these things. Uh, I don't know how long this will... Do you think this will be a problem if in a year from now all games are just 720, 1080? Well, yeah, like. well, oh yeah, recently too, um, Plants vs. Zombies, Plants Warfare, just called Friends to run at 900p. 900p? Not 1080p. Yeah, I heard. What kills me is that, is well, it like, going to be on PC as well or just Xbox? The, uh, just Xbox 360 and Xbox One, a, but even so, a, like... A PC can run 1080. Yeah. And they're essentially mid to high range PCs. Yeah. What is stopping the Xbox from running this thing? The, the, the PS4 oh, is yeah. a PC. The Xbox 360 was a PC, so I would assume the one similar architecture. Why the hell can't you just say, eh, okay, now instead of using a keyboard, using a controller? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it took forever. I yeah. yeah, yeah, but I, I don't know. His developers just keep bringing on the ES RAM. Then I keep bottling that has a bottleneck on the performance of the game that he wants oh, to produce and all So the Xbox doesn't have good enough RAM and that's, the games suffer. Yeah. Uh, that's a problem. Well, that's I have DDR, G DDR3. So my games run at 1080p. 
Hmm. Why can't the sex boxes? Whatever. Um, it, I mean, that's the argument everybody has. Like, yeah, apparently, a bunch of the, the, the Xbox One games, uh, was Rise runs at 900p, I believe. Yeah, so uh, everything is upscaled to 1080. Yeah, Crytek declared it was a design decision to I do think that, the so. only one that is 1080p is either Dead Rising or Forza. No, Dead Rising is 1080p. Forza is 1080p. Ten, Forza because is the only. they promised that it was running at the highest technology they could run on the Xbox One. Oh, Forza <laughs> this, this is the best. But you see, that wanted that. Nobody still knows what's going to happen. If the cloud technology just keep bringing the, uh, I can't all the wait time. till Gran Turismo Seven. Oh. I need to see the comparison. You think they'll? If they I look at the fucking like the gravel. <laughs> this rock. <laughs> see this rock. <laughs> fucking tire shoots the rock. Hit well, the, the window. Point, so like, unrealistic. <laughs> 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 Give me the real racing. That's the funny part. Cause you'll have like probably at that point you'll have really really good car models, but the textures of like it's the gravel like, will be terrible. Oh, oh my god! This co- look at that! Look at that guy's hand. <laughs> in the, in the, like, in the, the crowd, now we gotta yeah. compare it to crowds. Yeah, yeah. the crowds. That's right. <laughs> the whole game is now the crowds. That's what every sports game yeah. does. Crowds are interactive now. Four to eight. I actually want to. I think this might be the first year I buy MLB the Show. Really? Because they're usually the most the graphical hair? game things ever, and I, then they're like, "Look at this hair! Yeah. So Look at the beard! Hair in this beard! <laughs> Look at this beard!" Like, and then they were like, "No, but they were actually talking about for one, the graphics are always good, regardless. Yeah, they're always MLB good. the Show. Um, the game is always for baseball. It is usually." Yeah, um, the show has a lot of content, but this one they're like, "Now, now we're specifically focusing on the crowds." You're not going to have, like, 12 families of octuplets in one section <laughs> and doing the same cheer. You're going to have different people. But, uh, yeah, so I like that. Um, anyway, before we forget, uh, what's the other one? Castlevania. Oh, what what out to, did you play the demo? I played the demo. No. That one was awesome. Did you, did you, like did you beat the first one? Huge stuff. Fine first play, one. Uh, the Lords of Shadow. I not, one. No, I didn't play I not that. played the first one either. That's the one, I had an interest in, but That's the one that Kojima said, I don't want to do Metal Gear, so I'll do Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah, so I'll totally do Metal <laughs> Gear. And Castlevania. I'm, I'm still going to do Metal Gear. And I swear, this is the last Metal Gear I'm making. I don't want to spoil the ending, but if you, the ending is the beginning is the end. Really? Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's it's So you play no in this one even. as Dracula this time, as opposed to... Al- Al- all Al- the Al- Al- no, you don't play as Alucard. You play as aside as reverse Dracula. The guy <laughs> that you're trying to kill in every game. This time you play as him. And the intro is pretty hot. You uh, yeah. please play the demo. It's pretty cool. You sit down in the throne room, uh, covered in gold and all of that, bored, drinking because you're nothing to do I'll, as an immortal. The, tell me, the, the beginning looks very familiar. To be honest, it's the same. It's the thing in every game. Yeah, least, yes, is, except you didn't say the line. But it's still very familiar. But it's still so you're sitting down in the, in your throne, and all these like spec ops guys break down the door with a giant ram at the end of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, it's literally just missing the fire. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shout out to that. Grand. Yeah. But um, they storm in and they come to assault you, and then you come off like, oh, thank you, gentlemen. I was just running out. You throw the cup at them, and then you just start killing everybody one by one. And uh-huh. they're trying to go for a mature theme that the uh, developer was like one cutscene. He had you wake up in a town in a family of people afraid of you. And what you do is you slowly walk up to, like, the daughter. And then you feed off of her in front of the family. And then the family's going crazy, like, why are you doing this, whatever. And then I think, you like, you snap the wife's neck and then kill everybody. They want you to feel that you are the bad guy. Like, make no mistake, this isn't an antihero thing. And I do like that. This is the first yeah. in a while. You play as the villain, who is a dick. <laughs> and, and when you think it's over, no, he slaughters people for no reason. Chill. Um, it's just chill. But it is kind of there are quick time events. Uh, the combat love it's in love with itself. It's like Bayonetta was slow. Yeah. You'll press a button <laughs> and you'll watch how he like. It's like Skyrim with guns. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you yeah. see the mod for that? It's amazing. Oh no, I there's know. guns in Skyrim. Somebody put like a, oh, like a machine gun. Of course they gun. did. Of course uh, they of did. Course they of course they do that. Do. Of course they do. Like, um, come on. Anyway, last new release. God, Final Fantasy, Lightning Returns, thirteen three, <laughs> whatever you call that. Um, Christianity is off the Christianity, the RPG. There's no other way around it. Yeah. Uh, I've played every. I reviewed it last week. Um, I've did, played yeah. every Final Fantasy that I could. I own every numbered one, and this is the first one that is just like, the fuck are you doing? What the, heck is it? <laughs> the first hour you play, everybody who was a good guy is now bad because time. Because Dracula. Because no, chaos. Because all black stuff. And as then long they're as you like, respect all the clocks, I'm sure it's fine. Now you're a goddess, and the real yeah, god right, yeah. died in part two, so now you're playing as the ultimate god who wants to create another world. Whoa. 
So That's he you needs do. you to go and collect the souls of everybody else so that they can be reborn on this other you've world. You've only got 12 days before the moon crashes into Termina. The yeah, bad part is, is yeah. that that's exactly the plot. <laughs> <laughs> the plot. Like yeah. you would think, the, the plot is in 12 days, chaos takes over and God's just going to say, fuck this gay earth and make another one with all the people back on it that right. you can save within the time limit. It has this stupid fucking Zelda time limit. Instead of three days, you have six. But if you save souls enough, you could feed them to Yggdrasil, and then it'll add more time to your days. But then oh. time still ticks down when you're on Earth, but it doesn't tick when you're Wait, on the spaceship. spaceship. Like, yeah. It's so stupid. Yeah. Just, but what I don't like about it is it the combat is awesome, yep. but it's pointless. Because now you don't gain experience. Oh, okay. You gain, you, you level up when you complete a quest. That's okay. Literally one quest is... Running with a kid, like, hey, I'm faster than you. You're like, I'm oh, like, you're not. I'm like 30 <laughs> times your size. Whatever. Race, go. go. You beat him in the race. So He's like, Super hey, Mario you're faster board? than me. Yo, it's plus quick 30 up. strength, plus 10 health. <laughs> like, that's it. You that's get, it. That's the quest. You got the Mass Effect 2 uh, so like, literally like, quest screen. It's literally like racing Koopa to the top of it's Bomb Hill. Or but no. then there's a lot of there's another ones like, hey, uh, I don't like these posters. Can you find them around town? Like, you have to find like 13 posters with them all for something. So, like, oh, like, yeah. so like Borderlands. Oh, yeah. Also, can you check to see the time on the on the cluster, right? And you have 13 on them in this city, too. So, we you have to please do, do like, like dumb like, shit to save people's souls. So, they're like, oh, thank you. And then, you grab their soul and that's it. The problem is that while you're doing this, time ticks down. So in Zelda, I didn't play Ocarina time, uh, not Ocarina, Majora's Mask, Mask, a yeah. lot for this specific reason. But now uh -huh. it's, I'm old enough and it's but still bad. Under, but I mean, you can reset. And Ocarina I guess you can't reset time. No, Majora's no. Mask, you can reset. Well, you yeah, can reset go back. time. Yeah, you can reset this time. one, you cannot, but you, you can, can you can, you can freeze, freeze it. it. Yeah, you you can, can freeze it. Yeah. You can spend, like, you get points from the battles themselves. You don't gain experience, but you gain something called EP. When you have two total EP, you can freeze time for like 10 real world minutes or something. Yeah. Which is like a couple hours in game. So it'll always be 6 o'clock for an hour. Oh, think of, which think you of like, Persona. So like Night Stalker's ultimate. Okay, this makes sense to me. No, it's, not, it's so <laughs> it stupid. It does this makes a lot no, of sense. It, it, no, it doesn't. When it's you look so at the overall bizarre. picture... I like how you feed him to you. The it's combat like, is... Really, yeah, really, it's like... Still every, from Norse mythology. Every, I don't give no, it. no, that's what he'd be doing. I know it's, I know it's Final Fantasy, though, but like... No, no, but no. It doesn't even make any sense. Why would you feed it to the Tree of Life to free, to get more time? I didn't even, to, nobody even knew, like, wait, did... The, the game, how, how the you just so true. When did it even come from in the first place? You never mentioned this in the past game. We're God. getting crazy. He's talked about quite 15 a bit has to be that. Like 15 and Kingdom Hearts 3 have to be something because 13 3, Jesus. Just no, confirm. No, in 13 3, no. can you walk left and right? Yeah, you can. Look, oh, you, oh, you can actually go anywhere you want. Wow. In 13 That's 3. World, no, is. but you see, no. The real game problem with the game is the guy who created the series in the first place. Well, Tombo Toriyama. That guy is the most horrible writer. Ouch. In his, in, no. Shout out if you guys have played <laughs> Final Fantasy X too, he was responsible for that mess. But everybody loved the game because of the, the combat. That was pretty much that. It, their team was pretty much for the same exact reason. For, for them, uh, and, oh, no. my goodness. He got, every time I think about, like I said, oh even when I tell people about the story of their team series, you will feel really, really bad about yourself. Because it's so... The overall storyline is really, really dumb to look back on. I mean, you probably just enjoying your first ship, but the more you think about it back then, the more you just have some kind of re regret going through that. And you actually ask yourself, how do you go through such a thing? And what are you guys doing? I, I hate this this game. I don't even want to play. I just got. You don't even want to play it. anymore. I have to beat it because. I mean, I still. I I, I don't, really don't want to play this, but you know, contracts and the sort. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Only on the only only reason I actually still play this game is because of the gameplay. Um, all about gameplay. Can't can't. And with regards to the story, I'll just think about the story later, later on. But the gameplay, huh, just fun. Oh, I mean, God. Like, like seriously, I, I think I was able to play with the Last of Us ended. <laughs> All right, so screw that game. Yeah. Um, Jesus. The last of us. Jesus. Yeah, screw that ending. Uh, topic. Since I was out topic. last week, Kevin, you were here. You were all talking about DLC it was two that weeks you ago. bought. Yeah, two, two, two weeks, weeks ago. Yeah, because last week. Two weeks. Ago. That was two weeks ago. Yeah. Shout outs to everybody listening. Also, who went to the mini con. Uh, it was actually a rather successful event for the first time that we had a charge for. Apparently, stuff. the second floor went. 
was better on the first. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, from, that's I. I yeah. don't even. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard. I heard mixed reviews. People were like, "Yeah, games are good." Artemis was apparently pretty good. We'll Artemis was the shit. I mean, oh, to, be, to be fair, to be fair, I never left the second floor, so I don't know yeah. what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, basically, they have like an artist alley where. People. I wanted to go down. Yeah, I yeah. mean, look pretty good. There were yeah. so yeah. many mech stuff. I actually wanted to. Play. Yeah, they're like two hundred bucks though. But no, no, those are like the dumb like Japan ones. <laughs> they were like <laughs> beginner <laughs> ones that were like thirty five. <laughs> fireworks flying <laughs> everywhere. It was like thirty five, forty dollar like big uh, serious feet ones. I was like, yo, I really would have liked to buy these. There was like this stupid manga deal, like five for twenty five or something like that. Five for twenty. Five. five for twenty, actually. That's five for mangoes, twenty. There yeah. you go. There's a lot of mangoes. They had a lot of a like lot of mangoes. Yeah, there's a lot of books. Um, mangoes, mango. So the topic that we discussed two weeks ago was the DLC that you bought. Your favorite, I guess. Favorite. Favorite. Favorite DLC, favorite DLC that you bought. Favorite what was yours. The whole Rock Band theory. Yeah, because you think he's like, well, technically, if you want to classify yeah, Rock Band uh, songs as individual pieces of like. <laughs> Damn, Kevin, it's time for this. <laughs> Adam, did you have one? I, I think, I, think I, I went with Civilization uh, was, Five, four. I, I, yeah, I was I was trying to decide between Beyond the Sword for four or um, Brave New World for five. Uh, yeah, I still like Brave yeah, New World. Yeah. I can't just. It really, it really. I just bought the game Gold together. Edition for four, and I think I'm waiting for that for five. Because yeah, I haven't bought any. They made else they made the complete edition. They did. Yeah. I yeah, my, br- my brother got the gold edition. He's like, Adam, um, I'm not seeing Brave New World on the list. And I was like, oh, it must be what's going on. It doesn't have Brave New World. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and then and then two days later, they come out with the complete edition. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> sorry, brother. Yeah. How does it feel? I didn't even tell him to buy. He just calls me up one day. He's like, Adam, I'm having tech problems. It won't load. <laughs> won't load. Oh, yeah, right. I bought Civ. But well, <laughs> then you can <could laughs> DLC them things. I do like, like here's, the, here's a world leader Bane. Like, just could, random people. Like, I love that. that. You could do that, I show. love that game. is so If good. the actual Steam Workshop's any indication, though, it's mostly ponies and, and um, Game of Thrones, so... It is definitely all Game of Thrones. Uh, Daniel, what was your favorite DLC? The Azure's Wrath and the DLC. Right. I was about to say Devil May Cry. Uh, the Bloody Palace. I now play Makes that. Did you play it more? Huh? Bloody Palace. I now play that, ever. What is it? Right? Especially DLC Devil May Cry. Natalie. I don't have DLC. The only DLC I bought was for the Skyrim one, and I didn't even play it. Which one was it? It was a Legendary Edition thing. The Legendary Edition? Oh, you bought the one with all the DLC in it. <laughs> yep. It's the only DLC I ever bought. Anyway, hey, hey, for the only two answers we go on the Facebook page that oh, I just those. posted, we got <laughs> Citadel <laughs> DLC for Mass Effect 3, and mm. all the four all three expansion packs. <laughs> that was a big bite of nothing there, like... No, mm. Fallout, uh, no, Fallout, the Mass Effect. Mm. Citadel. <laughs> the yeah. Mass Effect. Fan service. <laughs> all of their DLCs are awesome. All of them are awesome. But after I beat three, I, I went back to play it again like, no, this can't be it. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't it. So I played it when they did the extended endings. I was like, I never want to play this again. And I never put it back in my disc tray. And it's the one Mass Effect that I just don't have the DLC for. I just didn't care. I hear Citadel is an awesome send-off. I'm like, no, I don't want to... It's just everybody having a party. Everyone's having a party, you, and the missions are just silly, and Wait. returning people come back. Everyone's having a... Did you ever see the Ego Raptor video? Uh, what was oh, it, right? Right. it was like... It was like uh, collaboration. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's really like, ground. so Shepard say beats the Roopers, and <laughs> they all throw a party, and you guys decide which kind of punch to serve. <laughs> and you pick the wrong one, uh, Garrus could die. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, so it's, they actually made that into a DLC. All right, like cool. <laughs> so add to that the Fallout 3, I did buy the game of the year one. I was talking with Pete a while ago about that. Uh, you played Fallout 3, right? Yes, I did. You played Fallout 3, yeah? No? No, yeah. I stopped at those. I just like I got to the one with the ants, beat it, got the achievement. <laughs> I never went back. Like, Why you don't ants. like ants? Because that I got to the mission is difficult, and the mission is very difficult. Nothing's difficult. When I you was have a in fat the boy. cave with just landmines. It was the only thing I had. Okay, a, spider bring ants. A, all I have left. Out, out of all the people, I would thought you would be good at inventory management, <laughs> being ready to go. Because they took so much. Why would you need landmines? <laughs> I always sold the landmines. Why am I holding landmines? What kills me is that I won. I had like one or two left. I killed the queen ant. I had. I was just like done. If this is the game, I'm done. It was great, but I was done. Well, I the fact went, that you got to the queen ant with just landmines. I should give you something. Sure you're so just I, went, <laughs> I went back when Doing the game, a challenge the run, uh, landmine only. Game of the year came out, and I bought. Uh, I only played through the uh, the um, 
spaceship DLC. A mothership Zeta. That was so funny. That was weird. <laughs> it was yeah, awesome. that was a weird one. And when you're done, you're left with like this kid's zap gun. Yeah, the, <laughs> but it kills everything. It's so cool. Um, so Nazi zombie ray gun. Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right. So what would be my favorite DLC I've ever bought, and that wouldn't be the. Hmm, I'd have to come back to that. I can't think of a good one. Huh. Because that Assurance Wrath is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, You've had two weeks to think about it. I didn't know about it until I went out. That's right. Um, <laughs> you should have known. Somehow. Favorite DLC. Uh, yeah, I think the Naruto you costumes. Naruto? Uh, <laughs> really? He's not serious. Okay. not serious at all. I'll come back to that one. This is a good question. I looked at your DLC in your Xbox. You had some shitty DLC downloaded it. You just downloaded costumes. From what? Bullet Witch. He's like... <laughs> he's like, Let's not talk he's about like the Chris Hansen of Shane DLC. It's like he's just like, why don't you have a seat over there? For <laughs> I'm looking through your Xbox um, now. <laughs> so <laughs> next, let's um, <clears throat> for next week. Uh, my question, unless you have a better one, of course, as always. What is your favorite, or who is your favorite developer, and why? Not team, like well, person? I guess team, but no, like uh, the team like that makes this development company. Yeah, okay. yeah kind of like all right. I like I Irrational think... Games because their take on uh, Bioshock was the best. Okay. Or I like uh, 2K because they like to, you know, we had Lots Borderlands uh, and oh, that is a no yeah, Gearbox, 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 Gearbox. So yeah. here we had Borderlands and then they went and took it off reworked it and it was way better and they had the foresight to do that mm -hmm. plus they had the balls to buy out duke nukem and release that so i would like them for having <laughs> yeah. you know guts and um, also aliens calling them uh, <laughs> they did that gearbox also did that didn't they i'm pretty sure yeah daniel right well, no 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 gearbox you're right you're right, you're aliens right. Calling them I, I thought yeah, you were yeah. talking I yeah thought, I heard, they did yeah. aliens and they did duke nukem they also did all right so yeah everybody did duke nukem. daniel who's your favorite <laughs> you can say because it's true god yeah, this is a hard one. Yeah, that's a hard one. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. felt the bell, but it has to go in between uh, Konami. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. No hate here. Okay, fine. Change the subject. Uh, Platinum Games. Platinum. Jeez. He's like <laughs> taking my one. Yeah. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you? I like Platinum Games. Of everyone, not Harmonics? Not okay. Well, you didn't get to me yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Daniel, okay, why guys, is Bayonetta your favorite developer? I mean, said Bayonetta. My favorite, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite developer is Bayonetta. <laughs> 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 I just said, okay, fine. <laughs> Cause cigarette button. What? Oh, what? Words? What? Your what? developer, Dan. <laughs> Who is it? Developers, 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 developers. developers. Don't do this. <laughs> I love. <laughs> This <laughs> company. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, who's your damn developer? I'm the kid to shut the hell up. Take us off the plate. Right. Kevin, who's yours? Right, I just love the video. I'm torn, I'm torn between Rare. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Rare or um, not Harmonics. We get it rare. You used to be called um, Harmonics. Not Harmonics. Yeah, not harmonics. harmonics. That or Rockstar. Uh, rare and Rockstar. Uh, rare was good back in the day. And then when they killed... Banjo Kazooie, sad face. But then they introduced the new Banjo Kazooie. I never played Banjo Kazooie ever. <gasps> Me neither. But I actually never played beat, I never Donkey beat Kong 64 and thought that was the best thing ever. Yeah. Everyone's like, yo, yeah, this Donkey shit Kong is, is right. This shit is yeah. right. <laughs> but, and then Rockstar, I don't think, like, aside from Austin Powers game they made, uh, they didn't make any very bad games at all. Like that's the everything thing that was quality. Time, man. That's the yeah. thing that was so if you're part of the pun rare about rare. Yeah. <laughs> they could take on CD so, any genre. From a platform review, rare from a general would probably be Rockstar. But they are kind of slipping right now. So oh, write the question, at least favorite developers on the Facebook while we're doing this. Now this right. is this this goes for Rockstar North South, you know, all the other ones. <laughs> all Rockstar in general. Well, because you know, Rockstar. some other country uh, companies in other countries uh, develop that's it. Why they and that's why they can make so much good shit. <laughs> Which is why Activision <laughs> has three studios making Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, Adam, yours? I don't know, you think I got one. <laughs> I'm thinking Not the guys who made Dota. I never played Deus Ex. You never played Deus Ex? No. Oh, wait, 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 w
Yeah. No, I, 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 you're talking about Ion Storm, and no, I never played. Invisible War. Ion Storm. Said the, Ion no. Storm. There's there's two halves of Ion Storm. One made Daikatana, the other one made oh, Deus Ex. Oh, those guys. Yeah. Uh, I, I, like I said, though, I've never played Deus Ex, the original one. So it's like System Shock. Should wait, who? Yeah, no, that much. Wait, who? Uh, actually, wait, who did publish the newest one, Human Revolution, or who made Square Enix? Uh, published. I just, I just Square Enix. I just published. Published. I just yeah. 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 Game. I don't know. Really good game. I don't think I've got one though. Hi. Uh, to say, to say Riot, just to fuck everybody over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> My favorite is Tencent. Tencent. I mean, well, yeah, I could say Valve. Like, oh, I that's like it. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like Dota, but... Yeah. 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 That's all they do. <laughs> they do. I played and Portal and it was it was good. Yeah, I guess. I, yeah, I'll say Valve because I do. I, I enjoy their games. But I can think qualifies the statement. <laughs> I do. I still play I Left 4 like Dead too. Guys, because they make good games. I still play Left 4 Dead too, which is somehow <laughs> that deal. I just heard that amazing bullshit on Kotaku. They were like, "Here's Silent Hill." In Left 4 Dead. Oh, didn't they do Resident Evil? They did a lot that? of those. So all the cutscenes play out in the game, but they're just I have using not, like... See, I haven't seen... Maybe they did it for the original, because I haven't seen that... They did it for something? Like, you'll yeah. have... A, the level will be, like, a, a couple of stages from Silent Hill, and they'll have the fog and everything, and when a cutscene plays, instead of being, like, a, a like a monster from Silent Hill, it would mm-hmm. be a specific zombie. Right. But it'd be the yeah, same You heard they did cutscene. the crossover, but... Yeah, it's a... Uh, mods are wild. Mods are amazing. <laughs> Except that one ocean. in Team Fortress 2 where it's just a giant level with like a stupid rainbow cat in the background and like just shit shoot. Like, it was, was it shooting out cat? Uh, hats? Yeah, it was uh, shooting out like cats or something. <laughs> it was I know there was a level, it was like a test map where if you did a certain thing, a giant cat would come up and like instant kill you with bees. <laughs> but I don't. Because, and yeah, it, like you just got, you know, damage over time to death with bees, bees. everywhere and lasers if you didn't die. If you yes, bees. that was it. <laughs> that was, it was I can't remember how you did that on that map. I think, I think the admin just had to, like, do it to fuck with people. Like, he had the control to do that, so. Mm-hmm. Natalie, what is your favorite developer or whom and why? My favorite developer. You have to say something. A lot. Because you can talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is Nintendo. Yay. Because. So it's a cheat, kind of. It's cheat? cheap. That is cheap. One. No, it's it's fine. That's like saying Sony and well, Microsoft. They're, they're first part oh, of the yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Sony yeah. and Sony Computer no. Entertainment yeah. America. Yeah. 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 Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo. Okay, okay. <laughs> but Naughty Dog. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Only because they, they of Spiro. Spiro. Yeah. <laughs> That's only. You can't that keep reliving the Spiro that's dream, it has to go. That's only... Wait, no. Did Naughty Dog? Did Naughty Dog? Yeah, yeah. No, no, they didn't make Spyro. And, and Crash Bandicoot. They made a little yeah. new game called, you know, Jack and Dash. And, and Uncharted. Yeah! And but Spiro. They make they make, <laughs> they make, they make, they make, they make great games. I think they're two next to... But it's to, all about, no. I would, I would honestly say it's like... They're making Rockstar, that new one, too. Naughty Dog, and they're Sony. And Nintendo. Nintendo. Mario. Nintendo. Nintendo Mario has like games. five games, and Mario has no story. It's jump on this because he took your girlfriend. Again. Oh, we're talking about part. story. Oh, no, now one. we're talking about story. Dude, in the newest <laughs> one, where you're a cat, um, the, the Bowser kidnapped all the fairies. Okay, so you gotta go. Well, get last him. time I checked, he didn't have sex with fairies. Oh, so. the best Mario <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's got complex motivations. All right. Did he even take Peach? Because you play as her. Yeah, you play. Yeah, she didn't take. Oh, I literally, I literally watched the uh, the completionist like review of it. It's literally Mario, Peach, Luigi, and Toad yeah. <laughs> walking along. Pipe comes, a crystal pipe comes up from the ground. They're like, oh, what the fuck is that? Um, and then like a fairy comes out, and they're like, oh, cool, what's up? And then Bowser comes up and like grabs the fairy, leaves. And they're like, oh, okay. They jump down the pipe, and the game starts. <laughs> <laughs> what? There you go. <laughs> They don't even do it anymore. Gotta <laughs> rescue them fairies. Well, well, what about Zelda? They have story. Well, yeah. 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 So every other game they make has a plot except Mario. That most... I, think, I don't know. What See? I you don't need plots. Dude, the plot of Mario yeah. is... Cats? Yeah. Cats. You can push B to so spike. I think. Okay, so... Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Cal- Capcom. Because they used to make good games. Dang. So you're saying like... You like that used to make good games. They're not good anymore. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> well, no, because, Be fair, no, because, because someone because, was gonna say rare. Yeah, well, because after, uh, well, because after the games, a <laughs> number of games that I played from each developer, it was Capcom games that I played the most and enjoyed the most. Because every time you make a new one, I spend something good after that, and, and I actually do have a good time. But so was Mega Man, then only Musha. 
Yeah, okay, and then the game does you people you know I'm obsessed with ever since you saw me playing over and over again. Super, super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. Oh, the game's no. fucking awesome, but yeah. it was a story. <laughs> there was like, I, I was, played it once, I was like, this is alright. I played the second one on the GameCube. I should know the one I should bring it in. Well, I played it on the GameCube. I don't know. Ball out! Yo, I love that I game. Three I'm gonna bring it in. Already already fucking I know. Connecting but... the doors <laughs> that was one of the few games where a friend showed it to me, didn't tell me how to play it, but I still figured it out. I figured it out too, but I still hate every single man. I'm so mad I wanted to buy it on the game. It's a sucking Version. I'm changing my vote. Who made Army Men Soldiers Heroes for the N64? Uh, 3DO. 3DO. Yeah. <laughs> They're not in business oh, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> They're not in business anymore, sir. Let's go with Kasumi Ninja, though. <laughs> what? There was this black guy with money. I think his name was like Mr. Banks or something. Mr. Banks? <laughs> Throw bags of money. Like the Fresh Prince. <laughs> so stupid. I love that company. Oh. Um, well, mine would be, I'd honestly say Square. 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 Final Fantasy 6, 7, 8. So Square Soft or Square Enix? Square. Square. Just Square. Final Fantasy 6. Look up a company that has Square. Through 10. They do have. Okay, they call themselves Square. Shut up, damn it. Final Fantasy 6 through 12 have been awesome. What happened to 5? I didn't play 5. You never played 5. I mean, I played it for like five minutes or whatever. Joking, They're all good up until 12, but Final Fantasy 6 oh, through 12 are awesome. And everything that they made in between then was essentially oh, gold. Yeah, you had tactics. You had, um, and then square software. you had tactics. You had 11. You had uh, well, 14. You had... Uh, what else did they do? The, the Chocobo Racing game. I bet you love that. Era Guys. They, yeah. they had a lot of stuff. Um, they also mostly, made... I like it because back when you were a kid, you didn't, at least me, my parents didn't buy a lot of games. So you make sure that the game that you got is either something like Incredible Crisis or something. You way! You way! <laughs> or you something way. that is going to be long. And in my case, it's Final Fantasy. Like, you would play that and be awesome, happy with that for a very long time. So I always look forward to those. Man, but something cool I about, just... like, look at your crappy one disc game at five. See, see, I... All right. The reason you remind me this is kind of unrelated, but when you say Incredible Crisis, it just it's a marvel that the same company who made that could make something like the Hercules game on the Game Boy or Superman 64. Titus. Titus it's all Titus? It? Titus, wow. yeah. It's like, wow, that's something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's something. Second to them um, would... Damn, yeah, go Bendy. I was gonna say no. I was gonna say 2K, but they're the publisher because yeah. I wasn't thinking of uh, they publish good Gearbox. Stuff, I was thinking of. Um, like uh, that company that did a that was Rockstar. Never mind, L.A. Noir. Yeah, that was Rockstar. Yeah, that was Rockstar like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then yeah, my own you guys aren't allowed to have the same publisher. That would just be weird, right? That and when they did like '99 or something, when Kingdom Hearts was announced, I was like, this is stupid. And then I think, this I think everyone the, thought this, that. But... This is the best idea I've ever seen in yeah. my life. Like, yeah. They completely it was like, wow, yes. And then that last fight. I can still hear. I can still hear Donald ass. yelling, Sora. <laughs> I've only played the first one. All your Sora. I think and like him. Stop, just yell me. He <laughs> was he. I did not like. Talking. Yeah. <laughs> Sora! Need to, you need to do I'm this. here, Sora! Like, please stop. Huh? Just, you just raise your thing and heal me. I don't need this. He's yeah, a good healer. I didn't like how he we talked. And then I loved how in two, he'd like, shut up, just be my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> just hit everything with him. That too. Except the underwater level. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, what was it? Kumi, the Harvest Moon? Uh, something with a white. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is that your thing? Yeah, right. Yeah, Natsumi. Natsumi. Yeah. I love Natsumi. Because <laughs> they only make one game. Yes, and Harvest Moon. I Sims, them all. the farm simulation. Uh, Harvest Moon was a good game. Farming simulator 2013. Oh, and Sims 3. Sims 3 is good. It takes like an hour to buy a seed. But EA sucks. EA still oh, yeah, sucks. Oh, yeah, EA does suck. But I love Sims 3. But hang on, who made Sims Max? Max is Marvelous Max Interactive Max made Harvest Moon. Marvelous, Inter- Marvelous, Marvelous Interactive. Not, Interactive. Not, right? not Sume is Marvelous the publisher. Is the, oh, the publisher. Okay. It's the publisher, yeah. Okay, so Harvest Moon was like Max is Max is was alright. Yeah, Max is fun. Max is good. Marvelous, Marvelous Entertainment. Don't they make Dude, some everyone's weird favorite shit? everyone's favorite developer here, let's be honest. Let's drop drop the mic. Everyone's favorite is twenty two cans. Uh, the no, they produce animation, music, and television series. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> 22 Cans, they, Peter Molyneux, his new company, uh, made that game. that the one? <laughs> you that know, one you guy. chip at a block. <laughs> this is the most important game of your life. Yes. <laughs> like, you chip at a block. Peter Molyneux. Their, their, main, their main industry is anime and music. Nintendo's main industry was what? Cards. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Sony's was TV. Um, well, it was Microsoft. No, it was everything. All computers and Microsoft <laughs> was everything. You heard that they're gonna start uh, stop uh, supporting XP in like two months. Uh, uh, sounds like I'm killing somebody. Yeah. Uh, Windows. Windows. Oh uh, no. That all right, nice. everybody. That's pretty much it. While we're looking for that. So oh, they made Half Minute too. Hero, Super Mega Neo. Oh, did they? Oh, I, I don't remember that. I, I've heard of that game. I've never played it. Um, it seems weird. Everybody, yeah. please go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash NJIT Game Club, or just search for us and we'll add you to it. Please answer the question of the week. Um, what is your favorite developer? And if you didn't oh. answer the question from two weeks ago, what That's was the best game. DLC that you ever bought? They made a lot of anime uh, games. They made, they made a shitload. Um, <laughs> And now, before we get that out, uh, newest section. Oh. Well, not newest, newest, but the thing that I added the week before that I stopped coming. Uh, shout outs for the week. Uh, mine first. Shout outs to shitty engineering. <laughs> um, Sounds my PS3 died oh. last week. Oh, God. It's, 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 it's Mine was a backwards compatible launch PS3. So those are very rare to find. And. Can you play that death music from the Terminator? This is a PS3. Thumbs up into So the now the problem that I had with that was, um, I wanted to. I didn't want to just buy another PlayStation because all my saves were on this one, and they made it. I'm not sure what it is for Xbox. I believe if you just have the hard drive, so long as you're online, you're fine. But for the PS3, once you take that hard drive out of the console that it's been used on, if you plug it into any other PS3, the first thing it does is reformat it. So you can't do that. It's only good in your system until you transfer the data direct cable out of LAN yeah. or you upload it to an um, external hard drive, which I didn't have. <laughs> he actually found it. <laughs> so the part of the horns. While, that, while that was going on, I contacted Sony themselves to see if you could repair it. It's like 1.30 since my system was out of warranty, but they sent me a box. They're like, here, you can go get it repaired. Okay. So while it's sent here, they're like, you don't have to ship it. You have 30 days to ship it. And then after the 30 days, if you haven't shipped it, we'll just refund your money. So I'm looking around to see if there's any other cheaper way of repairing my PS3. Um, there isn't. <laughs> so there's, I mean, there's one method, which is what I chose. It's called a reball, where they essentially take your system and they switch out the motherboard in it. So okay. it's a new system in the old shell. Right. Um, new serial number and everything. Now, the problem with that is it caused so much trouble, you will not believe. I had to back up all my data, which they did for me. They said that I had 240 gigs used out of 270. So I had all my stuff transferred, obviously. When I transferred it back to the new PS3, I only had 30 gigs in there. So I was like, oh crap. So every single game that I downloaded ever, every single game ever, every DLC to every single game ever is not there anymore. The only thing that was in there was my stupid fucking Final Fantasy disc that was in there when it was broken and I couldn't take it out. It, it was a Final now Fantasy. Now the problem, now what? Fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, so now what said, I, you damn God, you did this. <laughs> so now what, what I liked fine. was um, with the advent of PS Plus, there was that whole uh, you could save your games online thing. So it automatically backed up the saves of games from like 2011 and on that I would put in the system. So that was pretty cool. What I did not like though was it didn't do that for PS2 and PS1 games, which were on there. Those didn't transfer over. And I specifically prided myself in playing all those Final Fantasies that I talked about before to obscene hundreds of hours and putting them all on that fucking PS3 for me to find out now that I couldn't transfer it. Um, so I essentially lost my childhood. Okay. Ah, uh, that sucks. Um, to my uh, plus, I found that my memory fun. cards there, uh, so I just gotta plug them back in and whatnot. But on a minus, I lost all of my childhood saves. Good childhood. Yeah, man, it sucks. Hmm. And there's nothing you can do about it now because they already reformatted it, threw it away, and they paid for it. So, uh, so shout outs to that because I was thinking, like, you know, I'd have a PS1 that you know you have to play upside down or something, but it still works. You have N64 that your friends spilled juice in, and like it's cracked half open, but it still works. What's with this red ring stuff and yellow light of death? And, uh, 
Unless Yo. you're a handheld, everything's broken. They love colors. Yellow light, huh? Yellow, Yellow light. Car. I still gotta fix this guy's like fifth broken PlayStation on top of that. It's just stupid. Yeah, I was, I was my PlayStation so. 2 broke. Uh, well, it wouldn't read memory cards and also broke. So, um, <laughs> so I went to a flea market, got another one for pretty cheap. I was like, this is great. It, it got a free memory card with the PlayStation. I was like, this is awesome. Bring it back. I only read that memory card. So effectively where I started. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, the worst. All right, so All right, we can stop here. No, thank we you. still got to do it. Oh, yeah, the music. Yeah. Yeah. The music. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, shout out. Uh, What's the music I wanted? I'm but... oh, sorry, what? Uh, shout out. Uh, Anything you want to bring attention to? Anybody you want to apologize to? Um, <laughs> somebody who likes waffles? Somebody who is hurt. Who yes. wrote a very long essay? Somebody felt that. Peter Molyneux. <laughs> 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 um, I still have to actually read that essay. You I mean, don't want to read it. It's so long. I read if it. If he wrote it for me, I, I mean, he didn't write for me in particular, but like, I mean, he wrote it because of. I mean, it feels yeah, It's okay. so much. <laughs> it's so much text. I used to, back in high school, I used to write like an eight page just thing about nothing and put it on the front of my locker just to completely cover it. It got a lot of reads, because what else did you put on a locker from stickers? You're one of those shit. deep assholes? No, it wasn't deep. Oh, God, it was the opposite. It was just, it was like... Shallow I, as hell. The first page was like, <laughs> I need to fill seven more pages. <laughs> Come with me on this journey, everyone. <laughs> it's like, it was beautiful. But, uh, so, hmm, shout outs. Uh, pass to the next person. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll think of nothing in the time it comes nice. back. Natalie, your shout out person, game... Uh, Thing. Sorry, I just thought of it. <laughs> Shout out to Tony Hall for saying I have a new game and then not giving any yeah, details. Yeah. On <laughs> okay, carry on. I can't wait for that because I want to buy it too. If it's anything like everything before Underground Two, <laughs> anything like everything before. Okay. If it's anything like. Does that include Underground Two? Because I thought Underground Two was. Which right. one was Underground Two? I had Bam or Jared being. I thought that was, was literally Jackass. I thought that was. No, that was no. Underground Two. So so all right, so the Underground Two. Underground One was tanks and and. Uh, so I'm gonna play. Like, that's not how people from so New Jersey say it. Whatever. Music, oh, like talk about this. It's like, yo, here, take this board. Tanks, like, and then Eric's an asshole. Anyway, moral of the story uh, is. Yeah, uh, it's a guy. And everyone online only plays Moscow because they're uncreative jerks. It's easy. There's built-in grind paths everywhere. Why don't you want to do anything else? Like, stop. So <laughs> that was Underground 1, and then Underground 2 was literally the jackass, the movie. <laughs> Except you went to, like, so you did a lot of destruction. So. Tony Hawk Underground. Tony Hawk 2. Oh, yeah, 2 was just... That was like, spin the wheel, who's off the show, and then you can yeah, tell Yeah, it was jackass. Yeah, I remember. I swear that was 4, though. No, that 4, four was just... 4 just has the challenges. 4, four was, was jackass. Normal. 4 was normal. Yeah, 4 was just like... With Bam Margera. Yeah, sorry. Go down Alcatraz Bam Margera was guy. in the older games, but I'm saying, like, 2 was like, you're touring yeah. with <laughs> Bam Margera. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. So projectile. Natalie? Yeah. Your shout-out. Well, it was directed. <laughs> There's napkins right there. It's true. <laughs> Too far away. But where do napkins come from? So far away. Who puts the trees in the ground? People. Gross. How can we be real Gross. if our eyes aren't real? <laughs> I, love this. I love those freaking tweets. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of this? Natalie, yeah. say something before you continue. Please. A shout out? Yes. To what? Shout out to Jaden Smith hey, for the yeah. best tweets ever. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something gaming related, a uh, person, an opponent, a DLC. How can games be real if our eyes aren't real? The, the <laughs> person, <laughs> there's secrets in these rooms. Watching, <laughs> listening. Nobody watches this. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> shout out. When I do shout out to Natalie for being a jerk. It says zero views whenever I'm here, except for me when it's one view. Well, she, why are you? Why Kevin, are you? Uh, shout out. I got a couple shout outs. So nice. Daniel, do we have any views? How many oh. listeners? See? But we got at least, we got at least 10 and we might have to pre record and all that, so, you know. That's just me, Natalie. That's sad. <laughs> just stop talking, yeah. Kevin. You <laughs> told me to talk and I didn't <laughs> Say, to talk, rip so. all of our feelings <laughs> over like, the work that yeah, we do that you go. don't and then complain over it. Cool. Come I'm not complaining. I was pretty upset I'm right now. I can sense the eight Kevin, paragraph essay coming out. <laughs> and I O, you stop talking. Go, Kevin. Daniel, keep playing your game. I, I feel like Perfect. the, the control of power. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a> director Adam. <laughs> you doing nothing. <laughs> You're cool. Nailing it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just throwing papers everywhere. I love it. 
Please! Shout out to Ayo for for forcing me to buy his Dante's Inferno. I don't understand how you don't like this game. You're ridiculous. Because it's a game. He's awesome. He's heavily We're going back to this thing. See, see it's, it's a... Ha- it's a poem. It's a book. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a it's book. not. Ah, oh, thank you, the dude. Like it, it's a Dante's book. Inferno is not just. It's a, it's a book. A poem implies it's a little. It's, 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 it's a I'm not even talking about fine. There's a hundred page poem. Fine. Okay. That shit has a beginning and yes, end. That's but, not a poem. Okay, anymore. go back to what I'm saying. Okay. It's a hack and slash. It sure yes, is. Yes. Uh, yes. As much as you kind of didn't say it was. I said it was a hack and slash. Right. And I just felt. I mean, yes, I did like the story. Cause mm-hmm. I did like. I do like Dante's Inferno, the story, because. It put his perspective on a fake place. Cough, cough. Shout out to Star Atheism. What? Oh, Are we God. all? I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. Stop. No, no, I'm just, I'm just stop. Stop. playing it off camera. Slash R Atheism. Not slash R. You said R. I'm part no, of the No, R. No, no. R, R. slash a- the subreddit Atheism. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Kevin, continue. But, I mean... Oh, this is great. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, if anything was like the demo, I felt like it just came on a little... Ugh. Too much or ugh? Like, I know the story adaptation, you said it was good, but... It's very good. I felt like they could have did something a little bit... I don't know. It just felt like the hack and slash. I probably didn't get too far into the game because I only versed the Grim Reaper, which oh. was boring as hell, but it was cool I was versing the Grim Reaper. So... You you let me borrow the game, so I'm gonna give it a try, and next week I'll see if it's worth your. You didn't tell me that. What? You said buy three for ten. You didn't say borrow. Oh, yes, my man. Why? Yeah, Kevin's just obviously uh, highly opposed on a deep level. Remember the first sentence I said. No, clearly, uh, first sentence I said. It doesn't was matter, but buy. it's say three for ten. I wanted to borrow Bullet Witch, sadly. Yeah. I want to see what, what the hell this game is about. It's, it's, okay, and shout out to uh, Attack on Titan for what the fuck. Oh yes, I shout out that too. <laughs> Adam's never watched anime, and he's like, "What the? Fuck? Like, he's like, what the hell's going on?" Yeah, you'll search up it's so baby's good. first anime Attack on Baby Titan image. I know. That's what I said. Yeah, you saying baby first. Because <laughs> <laughs> then they're like, what's the three? No, no. Uh, I already, I already said two know. already. I'm trying to find it. It's like an image. I guess Daniel's looking for it now. What is it? It was just like, it's like the Attack on Titan poster and just like my first anime or baby's first anime. I'm trying to remember what it said, but it's the worst. Sure. It doesn't seem to be coming up though. Most unfortunate. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be showing up. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah, because... Uh, um, he took my one with the Tony Hawk one. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, man. It's fine. Uh, shout out for Terrera for saying there's another Banjo-Kazooie game. Yeah, rare? Yeah. But well, Microsoft doesn't own them anymore, right? I believe so. Or right? was it Double Helix? What? Was it rare that Amazon was bought? Uh, bought that or was Double Helix. Double, Double Helix. Helix was bought. Yeah. Amazon. I mean, I know last time, as as your favorite John Tron guy said, when they announced that there was a next gen Banjo Kazooie game, that I was like, yeah, cars. So cars. hopefully, <laughs> I, th- <laughs> I think Rare is a company that they will learn from their mistakes, unlike most companies. I don't know, because they went through an entire gen of a mistake. Cameo elements of power. That wasn't that yeah, bad. It was an entire gen. Well, because of Microsoft, as I will say. Which now owns the yeah. spill. No, I mean, no. Killer Instinct is hot, but well, was, you know. it's an eight-player demo. What? So, oh, Killer uh, Instinct? Yeah, but then that's double helix, not rare. So, well, I'm, oh, uh, I mean, hey, yeah. that'd be, it'd helix be filling up, because Viva, Viva Pinata was awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so they definitely need that type of game in their library. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tired of this whole Xbox, remember that, that whole yeah. Xbox sign-out thing? The whole video is just the same nine to twelve year old demographic kid slash preteen slash yeah. young teen. Yeah. And Viva Pinata was for everybody else or sports games or something. Some not feeding into the I'm gonna wanna join the army and then I'm eighteen, fuck the army. Guys. Um <laughs> Daniel, your shout out. I need a new right. shirt now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got the idea. First, I'd like to personally thank Iowa for giving me the thirty two gig memory card for my video. <laughs> Like, I'm really grateful for that. This is the best thing ever. And that's... What? Wh- 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 <laughs> what? Just go on. Uh, okay. I always like to sh- get it. 
Kevin, what are you doing? <laughs> Guys, what? I don't even know what the fuck is going <laughs> on. Get up here. <laughs> Daniel, let's talk. I don't get this. Uh, neither do I. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know what Kevin's laughing at. <laughs> I don't know what Kevin's laughing at. Okay, great. <laughs> We have five people in this room. Two of them are laughing about two completely different things. They're not even looking at each other. And one's about to rape Daniel. The other one's coughing in a corner. I don't know what's happening. I just asked him a question. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like talking anymore because of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm scared. Please continue. Uh, Do you have any other one? Any <laughs> other one? Right. I mean, I, I like to talk about the videos I don't share. You know, all well, the videos we've been sharing ever since the last show. No, that's like a podcast. <laughs> it's like a podcast right? <laughs> I know, like we, yeah, because our videos are not working anymore, we can't talk about it. No, not going to show our reaction to it. No, we could definitely like upload a playlist. <laughs> uh, just, Actually, yeah, this is what we watch. This, <laughs> yeah, we should do that. This is a crappy watch after the show, so have fun with that. Okay. Um, any other show? I uh, started playing Bioshock, the very first one. Oh. I'm, 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 I'm having an interesting time so far. It's, it's like, like 2007? Like... Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, I remember running around yeah. with the frozen <laughs> wrench and just hitting everything. Oh. That was pretty cool. Oh, you can, you can do that? Yeah, you can customize your wrench to, uh, I think, when you hit it, it has a chance to freeze people. It's like one of the most overpowered things in the game. Sweet. Oh. I'm going I'm to find if it. If you hit someone because with Southern Hospitality, it applies a bleed effect? Or? Because, because what you want to be enjoying the game about is the hacking mini game. Completely random. Did you remember? World's first double hack. Yeah. You <laughs> 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 remember that thing in Fallout Three? The uh, what was that one? That it was like a symbol for abortion that they changed. It was a picture of a Pip Boy kicking a pregnant woman, and it meant something Down else. Down the stairs. No, it was just. Her, he, like a picture of a pregnant woman with like a like a like an explosion next to her belly, and you see his foot out with a smile, <laughs> <laughs> and it was meant like for like a perk or something. Yeah, yeah, it was a perk. And this I, one I forgot. What I it think came. it was ex- seems like sterile or something. I think something I've like, seen that, but I could not remember. And like, yeah, we can't put this shit in the game. But here's what we would have put in. <laughs> it, was a, it was the most wow shit ever. Um, I looked at it. Right, well, that's going on. Nothing important. Wow. Well, all right. Well, yeah. Mhm. So yeah. for a game club, game I guess club? Adam, um, Kevin, Daniel, Adam. Natalie. Uh, I guess thank you everybody for listening to us. Sorry that there's no uh, video. We'll try to fix that. I'm gonna slap a picture uh, on it while I'm it to YouTube. So and and that look forward to not that. everyone in this room business. supports our decision. Of what? Having a podcast. Damn, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Can I say something? Yeah. The. Uh, yeah. You guys are the best. We get, Just yeah. Just simply the highest quality. Yes, I like. There are better friends. I would have. This is life. Indeed. Live for. I agree. Sixteen years in the claim. I hate those Christopher Walken. <laughs> I hate so all funny. of them. All. Every single. Christopher Walken narrates Star Trek. All of them. Yeah, they're pretty All dumb. of them are so bad. Well, oh, now a walking through. <laughs> it appears two mech tanks, a bunch of those carrying sticks, are going down here. Oh, God. <laughs> shooting all the baby squirrels. <laughs> all the humanity. All of them. <laughs> all so of them. Good. All of them. Anyway, uh, thank you everybody uh, for paying attention again. Hopefully, you can go on the Facebook or the YouTube page and answer our questions and. Because we'd like to read your responses in our next week's show. I so again, everybody, thank you for listening. Find this aborted baby. What? We're not ending the podcast on that. That's uh, not going to happen. Uh, uh, thank you. This kid. Thank you. What? You didn't hear what he said. No. He's like, oh, I'm an aborted baby. We're not ending the podcast on that. It's not, I refuse. <laughs> we need to have 20 seconds to just fill it now. Hope that rhythm having wrestler video. <laughs> Jesus, the one with the old spice guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you. I will see you later. Bye. Bye.